Welcome everyone to episode number 13 here on the Proven Knowledge Podcast, the Creators Series. Today I welcomed a Florida hip-hop artist, his name is D-Vare. He talked with me about his new EP, Fruition, which by the time this episode is out, you'll be able to hear it already. I think he said it's six songs. I'm going to check it out. I encourage you to do so as well. I'll leave the uh, link in the YouTube bio and all that good stuff. Um, We kind of talked about a few new topics this week. I brought up to him um, if a good question, kind of, if he preferred to drop consistent singles or if he preferred to do you know, full albums and things like that, since kind of the trend lately has been to be more consistent as an artist and drop music, uh, you know, at least once a month, if not more. Um, He had a real thorough response to that that I very much enjoyed. He talked about a lot of his um, inspirations. He said J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Andre 3000, a lot of other very lyrical hip-hop artists have inspired him over the years talked about his father kind of being a good influence for him and how his dad worked in the music business for a long time and has kind of helped guide him and the importance of his team that has helped him his videographers engineers um he he gets kind of more in depth in the episode you'll hear it um without further ado let's get into it Welcome everyone to episode number 13 of the Proven Knowledge Podcast. This is the Creator Series. Today I'm joined by a Florida hip-hop artist, and he goes by the name of Diver. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing fine, man. How you doing? Awesome. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate you getting back to me on Instagram about being on the show and everything. I know I know, I kept you waiting for like a month or two there. I had to get through some more guests. But uh, so good. to start out every episode, we kind of just have the guests give a little bit of background info on yourself, kind of how long you've been doing music where your name comes from, all that good stuff. Okay. Well, uh, honestly, uh, you know, well, first of all, I'm going to say, you know, I'm 22. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been, I fell in love with music when I was 12 years old. Uh, and, you know, so you can say I probably, I pretty much been doing it for 10 years now. Uh, I guess you, if I'm being technical recording since I was 16. Mm. I did want to say that some of this episode got cut off. We had some recording issues within the episode. I kind of was freaking out, had to keep my composure a little bit and just kind of move through it. But I edited this the best that I could. I still think we got a lot of good stuff out of this. I don't think it missed too much, but it's around a a half an hour. Um, So I just hope you guys can get, you know, the real important bits out of it. You get signed to like a big label. Mm -hmm. You want to know these things. You know what I'm saying? You want to practice these things from early so that you have it. It's habitual. You know that, okay, this is not right. Or you know that this is right and you continue with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I learned that, bro. It's all, it could, everything could be easy with this music shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? As far as the business side, but people just are, what's the word? They're uneducated. You know what I'm saying? So I feel, and I'm, I'm learning a lot more as I go along. Um, you know, because I, like I mentioned, one of my one of my team uh, members is, uh, his name is Domingo. Remember I mentioned Domingo. Mm-hmm. He's been in the industry for a while, like damn near 20 some years too. Uh, and he, he's teaching me stuff, you know, while we're in the studio, just like, you know, chopping it up or, you know, listening to a beat or, you know, so we have a random conversation. We talk about things like that. So, you know, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm grateful because um, I tried, I started to actually incorporate, you know, the business mindset mm-hmm. like with the with the music. So I feel like that's a good habit that I'm that I'm that I got it that I grasped mm-hmm. that I got into. You know. Yeah, it's kind of important too. I think those go hand in hand, and a lot of people forget yeah. that. Is like you can make great music and everything, but if you don't have a concept of the business side, you're not really going to go that far. Like you're just going to be making good music that no one's probably going to hear. And it's probably not going to have the impact that you want it to have and everything. So I think that's definitely something that everybody needs to be aware of. And I, like you said, kind of people just being unaware and uneducated is something that a lot of people um, kind of struggle with. I, I myself struggled with it the first couple of years that I was doing music because yeah. I kind of just had to figure out everything on my own. I felt like nobody that I knew personally was going to help me with that. And that's kind of just what I've been doing is like, you got to really like look at the people that are successful already and see what they're doing and kind of pick their brain if you can and just Absolutely. see that and apply that to your own journey and do that as well. And that's kind of like why I've tried to create this platform here is just because I want other people to hear like your story and all the other artists' stories and just be able to take that and apply it to what they're doing and just spread the information. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. That's, that's always something that I think everybody needs to um, have and just – kind of move with so um 
who do you say who would you say as far as artists go are your biggest inspirations that kind of influence your music and what you do uh it's a, it's a lot of artists man uh, <laughs> so you know, from overall like from old times to now and stuff like that yeah it could be anyone it could be anyone um okay uh i'm gonna say like an uh, let's see all right i would have to say hmm, biggie uh andre 3000 um uh, Tupac was really good as well. He really, he, I, you know, his music inspired me too. Uh, J. Cole, mm. th- probably one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Drake, um, Tory, you know, Tory, I, I know his thing is going, whatever going on now, but Tory definitely, he's, he, the artist side, you know, he's definitely uh, inspirational. He inspired, influenced me, uh, definitely influenced a lot of different flows and just, you know, to be creative with your music and stuff like that. He influenced that. Um, like future, it's a, it's a lot of you know artists that I, that I listen to, man. That I feel like, you know, they have their unique sound. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I just take take takes a little a little bit of something from each of them, and I put it into my craft. But not not in the sense of copying, but in the sense of just uh, I don't know, how would I say? It? Hmm. I think you know what I'm saying, but I'm yeah. just trying to get it out. Uh, it's more just like taking the influence and kind of just doing it in your own way. It's not. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, yeah, exactly. Yes. And another mm-hmm. thing is like I think people forget that you know nothing is really like completely original. You know what I mean? Like we're all influenced that is, by. Dude, you hit it people. on the mark right there. Yeah. You hit it on the mark. <laughs> like, like even if we don't know it, like subconsciously, you're always taking from things that you hear and things that you learned, and you're just yeah. applying that in your own way. Like that's what it's all about. Because like no one is technically, no one invented the wheel. You know what I mean? And as far as like music goes, like yeah. I feel like that's. What it's all about, though, is just like continuing the good energy and like the good yes. thing of what they're doing. So, if you if you study like great artists, I mean they they were influenced by other great artists as well before their their time. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's just what it is. But like all the people you mentioned, like I definitely hear that in what I've heard from your music because it's very lyrical driven, like and like the production style. I feel like is very esque of like '90s hip hop and things like that. So I definitely hear like your influences in your music too so that's okay it. um out of those people or anyone else is there anyone you would ever want to do a song with you think um hey uh j cole nice that yeah. would be dope cole, j. Cole, cole's just so good man <laughs> he's just so good like yeah he, he's, he's absolutely incredible when it comes to this to this music shit yeah. man he's he different bro and uh i i can relate to uh, you know, multiple people have told me I, I sounded like him, like, you know, in the past, like, growing up in my music and stuff. I feel like I, I, I evolved with my sound, but at the same time, you still going to hear that influence because he, 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 he's, like, lyrical, but he's, like, spontaneous lyrical. Mm. I'm, like, the same way, kind of, but he's conscious at the same time. It's like, so it's like, you know, definitely I see, uh, uh, you know, it's definitely something there that I, I would say is similar to that, the way I do it, but it's just in my own way. I have my own story, obviously. But, um, yeah, man, I would love to do a song with J. Cole. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's goals for a lot of people, too, is just, like, to be able to do a song with, like, someone like Cole or Kendrick that's kind of, like, oh, yeah. considered as, like, the top of, like, hip-hop right now. And they're just yeah. they're, they're just literally doing, like, the epitome of just being an artist to me. Like, they yeah. can do it all. So that's definitely awesome to hear. Um, this is a new question. I kind of wanted to try it here on this episode first. I was going to ask... Other than social media, what has kind of been a good way for you to get your music heard by the right people and kind of get a new audience, you think? Is there any other methods other than social media that you've kind of put into play as far as that goes? Uh, um, you know, if, if, if I wasn't, you know, if I wasn't halted by, you know, my, my ideas and, and um, motives were kind of halted by COVID as far as like, you know, going to different venues and stuff and networking with people. That's something that I do that I'm good at. Um, yeah, that's probably the main thing that I, that I, you know, other than social media, like, you know, just, just uh, meeting people, letting them know, like, yo, this is what I do. Uh, if they do something similar or if they do, you know, whatever they do, I'm just, you know, I just like to meet new people, man, and just learn from people, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, hmm, there, there's no really... It, because social media is so interconnected, bro. It's like kind of hard to not really use that yeah. nowadays. But uh, 
yeah, I like to just network with people on, a, on an organic level, uh, you know, converse about multiple, you know, topics, whatever they do, whatever I do, we just relate on that on that level. Mm. And, you know, I show them my music, you know, if they like it, they like it, you know what I'm saying? If not, then they don't, but uh, most of the time they like it, you know, th- mm. you know thank goodness. Yeah. So, uh, I just, you know, if it wasn't, like I said, if it wasn't for COVID, man, I would be doing this a lot more, Richard, I, I don't mind talking to people, bro. Yeah. So it's like, uh, but, you know, right now it's just kind of hard, you know, mm-hmm. on that on that side, yeah. I think, like, too, as, like, artists, I think a lot of people are introverted and they don't really like to, uh, like, have conversations, like, face-to-face all the time. And we're so used to being behind a computer. But it's so good, too, to just get in people's, like, faces kind of metaphorically and, like, literally, yeah. technically. but And just kind of, like, connect in person, too, and with the people around you more often. And you'll meet so many new people that you might not have met. And like you said, though, like, with COVID, it's kind of tough because there's no concerts and there's no shows and there's yeah. not a lot of networking events right now because I know people hold a lot of networking events that are designed for you to meet new people and, you know, hopefully we can get back to that eventually to where we have those events coming back and you can do that again. And that's always something that I think everyone needs to do. So Definitely. Um, Definitely, bro. Okay, this is another question that's a pretty good one that I just came up with this week. Um, I know that I've heard a lot of people kind of recently say that putting out singles and like just songs, putting them out frequently has become more of a theme than putting out whole albums. So how do you as an artist kind of feel about putting out, do you put out more songs or are you someone that would take a long time building the music and do like a whole album like which one would you prefer or does it not really matter to you personally I feel like so. I, I mean I feel like you know alright so let me, let me just tell you this bro uh, I'm, I'm a type of artist or I'm the type of person that I go based off of energy mm. so you know and, and how I'm feeling um, and, and I'm not afraid to say I'm in tune with my emotions so it's like you know if I feel like doing something and, and, and you know I get that uh, gut feeling to do it or my intuition you know tells me to do it then you know I'm gonna do it so like I feel like I do a mixture bro mm-hmm. like if I feel like dropping a single right now or next week I'm gonna drop it like you know what I'm saying if I feel like but like when it comes to EPs and projects I'm a little more uh, you know strategic with that mm-hmm. but you know for the most part when it comes to sing- I drop you know I'll be more like I'll be more likely to drop a single like more frequent singles and stuff like that mm-hmm. before I just drop a random EP or album because um, you know that's obviously that obviously holds a lot more weight. Yeah. So you would ha- I would have to take my, a lot more time and um, you know make sure everything is, is, is rocking with it. But for the most part, yeah, bro, singles and you know small projects and stuff. Uh, I don't I don't mind doing that. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I like EPs, bro. After this EP, I'm gonna work on my. Uh, let me see. I think it's. I got a debut album. I'm gonna be working on probably like early next year or the end, by the end of this year. But. Yeah, this is probably going to be my last EP for a while. Mm. Um, but yeah, bro, like I said, it's just a mixture, bro. Singles and, you know, whatever I feel is right, you know. Mm-hmm. I think, like, a lot of people, too, it's just... I don't think you should limit yourself creatively, and I think you should be consistent. To me, it's like finding the balance. Like, you don't have to put out a song every week or something like that, and you can still make albums and take your time with them, but it's just just making sure you're staying relevant as well as not yeah. kind of messing up your own creative energy as well. Cause that's very yeah. personal to you as an artist. Like you want to share great music with your fans, but at the same time you want to make sure it's quality and you want to make sure it's yes. good. You don't want to just throw a bunch of stuff at the wall and hope that something like sticks. You know what I mean? Like I think it's just about having the balance and like pretty much what, pretty much what you just mentioned. I think that's how everyone should do it is just like, you can drop songs and things and then, like, take your time with the real, like, projects and the meat and potatoes, if you will, of your catalog yeah. with, like, that's, like, the deeper stuff and the real important stuff. And then you can put out songs every once in a while to just kind of let fans know you're working on stuff, you know, on other stuff. Absolutely. And it, another thing is, like, I feel like singles and, like, albums, like, should every every type of every song you drop should have a message but yeah like i said you know the the, the the projects hold more weight so like for example a single could just be like a spontaneous like in the vibe studio whatever you just want to be on some dope lyrical shit like yo let me just spit these bars real quick and you know what i'm saying single but like when it comes to the the uh the projects man like 
the way I name things and the way I order things, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a message behind it. So, you know, the people that are that are on the same frequency as me or, you know, are conscious on that level are going to definitely tap into it. Um, but, yeah, bro, like, singles, like I said, bro, it's, like, more of, like, yo, I just dropped some hard shit. Like, yo, show these niggas, like, what's up? Like, just to get it popping. Or, you know, I just rock with the, like I said, the project is a little more strategic and I come at, at a more mature level. Uh, I want to say mature level, but more... Uh, let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of a good word right now to use for that. So like, I'm dropping it like that's just a more, you know. It's like in depth. Yeah, yeah. more in depth level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I get it. I just feel like that's what it is. You know, that's how I look at it, bro. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of how I view it too, honestly. And I think that's how a lot of fans view it too when they view like certain artist music. They want like the album to be like the peak of kind of what they do. So I think yeah. that's just something you know artists kind of put a lot into. Let's kind of shift for a minute. Uh, I want to talk about, I know you're from Florida, so I kind of wanted you to give a breakdown of kind of what the scene has been musically. I'm actually, no, I was born in New York, but I grew up oh, in Florida. Okay. I didn't yeah. mention that, my bad. Well, we Okay, well, I'll shift it then. We can kind of do either one. Uh, okay. Whichever one you want to do, kind of just break down either New York or Florida, kind of like the hip-hop scene as far as the independent artists go and kind of what that's looking like in 2020. Uh, very good question, man. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, hmm, I feel like New York is a little, is a little more congregated, uh, you know, as far as, you know, connections and stuff. Florida is different. Mm. It's a little more it's spaced out, more spaced out. Uh, people like to be on their own side more often than usual. Um, let's see. You, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, the boroughs in New York is a lot more, it's a lot easier for you to find a connection. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, by word of mouth or who knows who and stuff, but out here it's, it's different, man. You know, it's just definitely different. Um, the Miami scene, you know, as as it goes for anywhere, like you know, it's really who you know or like who you meet or whatever, and, and who's able to give you opportunity. But it's a lot of people out here that that, that have the opportunity, but um, I'm not gonna say they don't want to give it, but they kind of in their own world, they do their own thing, which is understandable. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of talented, talented individuals in Florida, man. There's a lot of talented people in Broward. I live in Broward. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know uh, a large amount of artists, man, that, like, literally sound, like, good. And, and, and I, I'm a, my, me, myself, I'm a very strict music critique. So I'm not just going to say, like, just because I know someone, I'm going to say the music is good. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know what good music is. So, yeah, definitely. Um, but as far as, like, being an independent artist, man, you know, it all falls back to having a team. You know what I'm saying? If you have a team, your, your chances of, of getting to where you want to be is heightened. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I feel like it's just about, you know, being patient and consistent with what you're doing. That's, that's the best thing I can, you know, that's the best bet you got, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't depend on no one, niggas that's in the industry to give you opportunities because not all of them do, you know? And, and sometimes you're just not in a position to be given that opportunity. So you got to create it for yourself somehow by exposure. <laughs> yeah. I definitely feel like the kind of what well, you're talking about, Florida, which is like everyone's kind of doing their own thing, but there's a lot of talent there. Yeah. I kind of feel that just where I'm from in Ohio, it's kind of the same thing. It's like I uh-huh. see I've been discovering over the past couple of years a lot more local acts because I've been trying to work with more people. But it's like I haven't really been able to break through that yet as far as like working with a lot of different people around here. I've worked with mostly, you know, people from other states and other countries and everything, which is crazy just through the Internet. But I think that's just something that I've seen firsthand over here is just everyone kind of has their own agendas and their own things. And, like, I try not to get, like, too worked up about it. Like, if they don't want to work, you know, it might not be the right timing. It might not be this, yeah. like that. Like, I just want to see everybody succeed. And, like, I really Me feel too. like where I'm from, we have, like, a very good uh, plethora of people that are doing cool things. It's just it's not really, like, getting a lot of attention or anything. So I'm just trying to – hopefully bring more people together from around here and just kind of push like a certain like narrative that we can all kind of yeah. share and everything. So, but I, I definitely kind of feel what you're saying with that. So, um, okay. uh, I only got a few more questions, so it shouldn't, we shouldn't be on for much longer, but, uh, what do you think has been kind of the biggest struggle so far as far as your finances go and kind of, what kind of money you're putting into your music and investing in certain things, basically what has been an issue, if anything, as far as that's been concerned so far? 
You said what has been my hardship? Yeah, just any type of struggle with finances related to music. Um, uh, I can't really. I mean, as far as like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't really think of any. Like, I mean, because you know, we all put money together for mm-hmm. you know, uh, we all invested in the studio, one way or the other, and we invest every month together. Uh. Let me see what I can, I mean, as far as, nah, I mean, I don't really, because I have, I have someone, I have a promoter, I have a videographer, I have a cover artist, and they have set prices for me, so I know what I'm dealing with, um, but, and, and I'm a college student too as well, but um, I'm able to, you know, during the, this time of the year, or for COVID or whatever, you know, I was luckily able to get, you know, assistance and stuff like that, so, mm. you just gotta be smart, man, that's all, you just gotta be smart, bro, mm. you gotta be smart with your money and just, no, no, when and how and why you're investing. Um, it, it, it has to be a purpose behind it, mm-hmm. and and and, and, a, and a positive motive behind it in order for you to really be be satisfied with the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's that's what it is. Well, that was a great uh, like answer though that you don't have like a lot of problems because I know a lot of people they've kind of haven't really had that kind of structure together so far, but it's good that I think you have like set people, like you said, set prices that you already know. So you can take like a certain amount of money and budget that out and already have it ready to go for what, oh, yeah. for what you need and Absolutely. kind of what to drop. So I thought that was great the way you answered it anyway. And like, it's good that you I have that in place so that you don't have to worry about that moving forward and you can just focus on the creative side of everything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, this is kind of, well, closely related, but kind of indirect question. Um, what do you think has been, what do you think has been kind of like any type of struggle as far as dealing with your time management, with studio time, with creativity as far as the videos go? Um, I don't know. Probably used to be concerts, but now not really. Basically, is there any time management struggles balancing music with your everyday life oh uh, okay good question man uh first of all i'm gonna say man like you know the, the the writing to me i'm gonna start with just talking about writing is basically like i can write any time of the day like i said i go off energy man and uh if i have something already that i'm that's in the process of that i'm doing like for example if i heard a beat two days ago uh, and I don't write to it that same day. I go back to it the next day or, the, you know, maybe morning, any time of the day, bro. I'm so serious. And then um, I listen to it and I say, you know, sometimes just ideas come to my mind and, you know, bars start formulating. Uh, and then once I, you know, I think of all I need is that first line to start so I can keep going. But I just, you know, I don't rush it, though. I don't rush the process. Mm. Um, that's one thing that, 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 that I was taught not to do because that can mess up, uh, you know, spontaneous the, the right creativity you can mess it up so you want to just be patient with yourself um i like writing in the nighttime though definitely mm. it's, a, it's a nice time to write but uh yeah usually it'd be any any time of the day um I mean, what was your question again i'm sorry bro <laughs> it, it was i mean you're kind of covering it right now it's basically just like as far as managing your time with oh yeah the time, time you spend on music yeah, yeah, yeah. with okay yeah time yeah. Management. So yeah, and I'm also I'm also in school as well. So like yeah. I like to just balance everything out. Make sure I take care of my priorities first. Uh-huh. Once that's taken care of, then you know I feel comfortable just writing freely, uh, and and just uh, you know unbothered, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all it is. Once my priorities are good for the day, I did what I had to do on a productive level. Um, that's when I feel most comfortable writing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And my mind is clear. Yeah. So, and a lot of people take that for granted too like they don't properly schedule things out within the day and i found that like writing things down in like a planner has helped a lot for me like yeah. i can schedule okay. out like certain things i'm gonna do within the week like i'm gonna post on social media on these days and i'm gonna like be in a session this day with so and so and that really helps a lot too and it just kind of it doesn't you're not like flying by the seat of your pants at that point. Like you actually have a plan set in place. So it's just easier for you and it's easier on your mind and like your whole body and you can get to sleep your certain amount of hours and just, it helps so much. So that's good to hear that you got that. Um, so if you could go back 10 years to your past self and kind of give yourself advice or tell yourself anything, what do you think it would be? Uh, that's, a, well, that's an, amazing, an amazing question. I, I would say, you know, um, 
I would say stay, uh, be confident, stay ambitious, stay focused. I mean, I, because I feel like I've grown into that. But uh, at the same time, I would yeah, I would tell myself that man, like you know, stay ambitious, uh, continue being a leader, not a follower, mm. uh, and and surround yourself with with, with, with uh, like minded people, man. So, like I saw that's that's the motto, bro. That's the only way you gonna win, man. Yeah. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You can't you can't surround yourself with people that are that are half ass and shit and expect mm. to win. You know what I'm saying? You gotta surround yourself with people that are ambitious, goal oriented, and. And and, and, and and you guys can relate on a lot of things, you know, you're on the same frequency. So that's very beneficial. So I just tell myself, man, just stay confident and, and don't be afraid to take certain risks risk in, in life. And um, everything happens for a reason. I'll probably say that too. I, I, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if we could flip it then and you could go 10 years in the future, where do you think you want to be in your career and in life, you think? Oh, wow. That's a, okay. Honestly, man, like, at, cause I'm 22 right now, so at 32, man, like, I would probably wanna wanna have like nine to ten albums out, <laughs> or like, or maybe like, yeah, like, 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 realist, yeah, like, like, like seven to ten albums out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of singles, a lot of music videos. Um, man, by 32, like, if I if I keep, you know, I, it's not if I will continue doing my music. So by then, man, honestly, I feel like I'd be at a spot where I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that's definitely, definitely important, though. Like you got the goal already in mind, so I think it'll be easier for you to get to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, me and my team. You know yes. what I'm saying? I should yes. say that's important too. Um, Absolutely. So let's get back to your EP real quick. I know it's coming out on the 14th. Can you just give a little bit of info about it, the name, and kind of the backstory on it? Yeah, absolutely, man. So uh, the name of the EP is Fruition. Uh, I just be- believe that you know, you know, I believe in manifestation, so. You know, if, if you really set your mind to something, you put the energy to it, you obviously put the effort to making it happen, mm-hmm. it, it's more li- more than likely going to happen. Also, you know, I believe that what you put out in the universe is reciprocated uh, in time. So, you know, I just named it Fruition, man, because I, I feel like all of my manifestations are going to come to life. Uh, I'm going to see it with my own eyes, uh, and it's going to be it's gonna be real, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um as far as the the the, the each song, it's six songs on it, mm. um, and it's a, it was it was made with a collab, in, in a collab collaborative effort uh, with, with my team, Solo Co. Um, it was only two beats that I bought that wasn't from them, but the most most of the EP was done by them. Um, honestly, you know, each, each song correlates with the, the the name of you know the EP. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like the first. I, I, you know, I do want to tell you the first name of this. It won't matter to tell you. Uh, my intro is called Anything is Possible. You know what I'm saying? So mm. the way I'm coming in on that is just letting you know, like, anything is possible on the, on, the, on a good spectrum. Anything is possible on the, in the bad spectrum. Like, because this is life. You know, balance is always going to be needed in life. And you have to, uh, it's up to you to uh, pinpoint that and, 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 and uh, depict it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the way the way I look at it, man, I... Better, better yet, is a better way for you to convey that message because the way I'm coming in a song is I'm talking about like, you know, just just in this track, I feel like I'm more on my realist vibe. You know what I'm saying? Just like really tapping into damn, like you know what's going on really in the world right now. Uh, some past events that happened that really hurt, that that really shook, you know, hurt my heart. Um, that's what I'm talking about in the song as well. Um, and it, I feel like it's a dope intro, man. Like Friday, just be ready. Right, yeah, I'm telling you. So, yeah, and, and every other song on there is just you know correlated with you know fruition and like just the names of the song and the transitions and stuff. I feel like you know it definitely is something that I, that I'm happy that I did. You know what I'm saying? The way I structured it. I can't wait to hear it, man. I'm definitely gonna check it out. And by the time the episode's out next week, the EP will already be dropped. So I'll be sure to like put the uh, link in the bio and all that stuff, so everybody can go listen to it. So I I'm appreciate you so it, much. Uh, where can fans find you on social media? Um, well, my IG uh, is D as in dog dot V A I R. That's my IG. Um, on Twitter, it is uh, the real D Ver. So it's the real and then D E V A I R. Because D Ver is my is my artist name, but it's also my middle name. Uh, D E V A I R is my middle name, but I just switched it. You know, with the E with the dot, and it made the, the V capital and the D capital. So it's uh. I just try to keep it authentic, and, and my, my pops was the one that uh, 
inspired me to do that because it made sense. You feel me? Mm-hmm. He's the one that gave me the idea. Um, aside from that, let's see what else. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, my yeah, my YouTube is Dvair as well. D dot V A I R. Video coming real soon for for a song on the EP actually called Elevate. It's out already though. It's a single that's out, but it's actually on, it's on the EP as well. Uh, I feel like that makes more the most sense. Um, yeah, pretty much it, bro. Awesome. So, do you have any final words of wisdom today for the listeners? Um, just I just want to say, man, like you know, if you got a dream, don't stop. Keep pushing it to go at it, man. Don't let any hardship or trials and tribulations halt your uh, your drive. You know what I'm saying? Halt your journey. Because, you know, everybody has to go through hardships, bro. Everybody got to uh, persevere through that time to reach uh, to reach the level they want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And my goal is to, is to reach is to reach uh, my apex. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a song called Apex Mindset. It's a song I made a long time ago, and I still believe in that. Like, I, I want to be... If it's not the top of like of the world, I want to be like the best that I can be, the best version of myself, and um, yeah, just strive to be the best version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. I feel like it's the best thing. Well, great stuff, man. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Like I said, I appreciate you getting back with me. I'm looking forward to hearing this EP, and like you said, you got your album you're working on, so I'm looking forward to hearing that whenever that comes out. And I just wish you luck on everything you got going, man. Hey, thank you so much, man. Likewise, I appreciate you for having me. Yes. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's great talking to you, uh, definitely. And, um, yeah, I look forward to talking to you again soon, man. I yeah, appreciate definitely. you. Definitely. we got to do it again sometime. Hopefully after Absolutely. COVID and all this stuff. Take care, Absolutely. bro. Hey, you too, brother. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys, for listening. That was episode 13. Like I said, I apologize for anything that kind of was confusing in that episode if I didn't edit it the right way and all that. And, You know, that hasn't happened yet with the recording issues, so we're going to try to move past that and, like I said, do better. Like, hopefully I meet it this time, because I said the last episode. But uh, uh, we'll see you this time next week. And, like I said, appreciate you guys checking it out. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments on, you know, whatever platform you're listening on if you really are liking what we're doing here. And uh, I appreciate all you guys listening, so thanks again.